welcome to Model Cast number eight, where me and Emma and my friend Chris, who's been on here before, are going to go see Black Panther uh, midnight almost premiere. So it'll probably uh, I don't know when it's going to be uploaded, but anyways, uh, Emma say hi. Hi. Chris say hi. Hi. And uh, we're currently on the highway right now because the only theater somewhat near us is playing uh, the movie at 10.30, so we have to drive like 40 minutes or so to get there. Yeah, I, mean, I think I said it was 42 or 39 or something. Yeah, so, somewhere around there. So we have to drive far and really late, so we're going to get back at like 2 in the morning. But uh, So guys, how excited are you about Black Panther? Uh, I'm pretty excited just because I've like just recently got into the superhero movies, so I'm excited for that. But I don't know anything about the movie. Yeah, Emma was a was a filthy casual. Didn't go see any movies. She hated nerds. Never. I hated nerds before. Never. That's money. Biggest yeah. nerd hater right now. <laughs> Hit bullies, nerds. Yeah. But not anymore. I just, I, the only reason why I'm around you guys is so I can fucking bully you. True. That was my plan. It's been a long con to put us in a locker this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Well. We should just throw out how long this fucking movie is first. Two hours and 14 minutes, average superhero movie length. But then you have to sit and wait for the credits because it's a Marvel movie, so that's another sure. like half an hour. No, that, that includes the credits. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't so know like that. So like ten minutes of credits probably. Oh. And I didn't like know that. one minute of after credit scene. Yeah. What's oh, smell like dank weed again? What? I think Chris is smoking in the back seat. <laughs> Definitely got my joint lit up, ready to go. Oh I don't know why it keeps smelling like weed. It's kind of weird. It's probably Emma's car. It smells like weed. It's She's really, burning weed. <laughs> I've yeah. weed cents in here. Man, man, I wish, man. No, but really, it like literally stinks of weed for some reason. Why? Ew, drugs are bad, kids. Don't do them. Uh... So yeah, we're recording uh, what we, our expectations are before the movie. And then after the movie, we're going to talk again about if we liked it. Yay! Yay! So, um, pretty much every reviewer is saying this movie's good, which is very uh, strange for a Marvel movie, because most people say it's good, but not, like, anything that amazing. But apparently it has almost 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. Which is pretty crazy. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's doing super well, so... Uh, except I don't know why, because I haven't, like, read anything about it. Yeah, me either. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have low expectations just because I, I don't know what to expect. Because I, I don't know anything about the movie. The only things I've seen is, like, a couple short trailers that Sean has shown me. But other than that, I don't, like... I don't have any expectations. I don't know what, what to expect at all. Well, I... that The same exact thing happened with me at Wonder Woman. And I'm glad I didn't have any expectation going that movie. Yeah. I was fucking blown away. But if I felt like I was like, I'm ready to get blown away, I wouldn't have been as blown away. Right, that's I would have been like, yeah, that was probably like exactly what I expected. Yeah, that's, that's literally how I feel right now. I'm like, I didn't like look, like read into it or anything to figure out what it's really about or whatever because I didn't want to get my hopes up or anything. Yeah. So I like, I'm going into it knowing nothing, expecting nothing. So. Yeah, literally none of us know what to expect whatsoever. I mean, it's a Marvel movie, so it'll be, like, good, right. like, every other one, basically. Yeah, they're all good, but, like, I was talking to Chris the other day at work, uh, I never really realized, not, no Marvel movies are, like, amazing. Yeah, you don't really, like, remember them, like, yeah, super, like, I don't even know what I'm saying, a lot. Yeah, like, it's like you, it's, like, good, and you, like, suggest it to people, but it's, like, it's, like, kind of for yeah, the plots are always not that great. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff you have to, like... It could be, like, an Easter egg from... Or, like, some detail from another movie that's, like, not even really related at all. Like, freaking a Captain America reference in Guardians of the Galaxy or something. Uh-huh. So it's like you'd have to see all... Ca-
Captain America movies to understand, like, this little hint or reference. I mean, that's what they've been, like, planning, you know? Like, yeah. So, like, but all, it was all leading up to stuff, so, you know. Yeah, but it's like, if you don't know what they're talking about, then you're not gonna... You're gonna forget that part even happened, and, like, so, if, like, a, one of the movies has a lot of it, like, uh, the Avengers movies, like, I've never seen any of the Captain America movies ever Civil War, but that was after Avengers 2, so when Avengers 2 came out, there was a lot of stuff going on from the first two Captain America movies that had no idea what was going on. It's like, very similar to every Kingdom Hearts game. Really? And if you like, don't play one, you basically miss out on, like, everything. True. Which is kind of weird, because that game's been going on for a while. Well, there's like nine of them, so... There's really nine? Well, like I think the third ones? one is gonna be the ninth. How can the third one be the ninth? Because <laughs> they have a bunch of games in between, so Kingdom Hearts 3 will be the ninth <laughs> game. Why can't they just call it... Just have 2.5, 2.8, which is dumb. Why not just call it 4? Because it's not all directly the same, like... Line, there's like, you know, bits and pieces of what other characters are doing. <laughs> that all lead up to Kingdom Hearts 3, just like the Marvel movies. They've been planning it all along. Whoa. There's gonna be Big Hero 6 in Kingdom Hearts, right? Uh, I don't know. Or is, that was either confirmed or was a rumor, I can't remember. I don't remember. I know it was definitely a rumor, but I don't know if it was ever confirmed. There was a new trailer that I think was like just released, but I've been like too scared to watch it because I don't want to get like too excited. <laughs> Monsters Inc. Ooh, that'd be sweet. That's what is, it is. Is Kingdom Hearts oh, really? the one? Yeah. That, is that the game that has like the Disney characters and stuff? Yeah, it's Disney X Final Fantasy. Wow. Yeah, I've never played them. I played like the demo of Dream Drop Distance on 3DS. That was it. That's the. Oh, I'm going through that one right now on the PS4. So. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm not like this new recording. Seven minutes. Okay. We're nine minutes away. Nine minutes away? Yep, we're gonna well, sit there for five hours. Why? Emma's like dreading this. I'm not, it's just. I'm like, I have no expectations, so I don't like. Like, what, what other movie? Oh, um, you don't need any. We'll just go, get some popcorn, yeah. sit back, have sure. a good time. Well, because, like, with Spider-Man and, um, like, uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I was, like, so fucking excited. So I was, like, I was so, so excited. But, like, with this, I have no expectations, so I'm, like, not, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I really want to see it, but I just don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean... Like, what if it's, I mean, everyone's saying that it's good, and it's a Marvel movie, so I know it's going to be, like, at least decent, but it's like, what, what if this one actually, like, sucks? <laughs> uh, then you'll say that, and everyone will say you're racist without having a new way to back it up. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's, that's the whole underlying thing right now. I'm dreading it, because it's... Oh, it's cold. Well, let's stop at the store. Go in there and get some... What do they have in there? They have a... The food in there is actually pretty good. We're just passing by the casual liquor outlets on the highway. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I feel like it's a, a New Hampshire thing. There was one, like, there's, like, ones, like, right on, like, the, like, edge of, like, uh, the, like, border. Like, like when you drive into New Hampshire, like, the highways, there's, like, ones, like, a mile in. Yeah. There's always, like, um... Well, it's gonna be different options. Or something. What the hell? Uh... Just tell me what it's doing. Whatever. There's tolls. Um, I don't know if he knows. Oh yeah, tolls. Yeah. I think that's probably what it's talking about. What were you talking about? Uh, we were talking about. <laughs> I mean, that thing we were talking about with the girl last for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, there's like, <laughs> on like the highways, there's like, uh, with like a bunch of gas stations, like when there's like rest stops, it's like, a gas station and a liquor outlet in like a Burger King or something. Yeah. So they all have a liquor outlet attached to them. Uh, I'm not sure all state owned too for people who don't know. So there's some 
states where it's just like a casual store where you can just like go buy them, like, you know, whatever, like Canifer. Yeah, basically. That's fine. That's like how, like, Maine is. So yeah. Go in and get, like, you know, just, yeah. We should ask the toll guy if, what, if how excited they are about <laughs> Black Panther. It's just like, how excited are you? And they'll be like, uh, go. Find also, it looks like an older one. Yeah. Wait, She's like they dancing. Go? I can't tell. You have money. You feel Yeah, I got it. Number 20. Hi. Do you, do you like Marvel movies? Uh, yeah, it's kind of not my area. No? Shh. Do you? Yeah, we're gonna go see Black Panther right now. Well, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. That would be more of my kids. Yeah. Thank you. you have a wonderful time. Are we no? Never mind. Oh, Emma's gonna be remembering this time for like Ever. three weeks, just like dreading it every single night. Yeah. You were like the meme that you see on like the internet all the time. That's like the first time that's ever happened to me. Whenever I see that meme, I'm like, I don't relate to that at all. Like, She's just know. related. Yeah, you know the yeah, dread. You never done that before? Literally never. Not that even. That seems like something you would do. Well, I just did, so. I've only done it like a couple times, but. Yeah, me too, but I just, like, don't care, like, not paying attention. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done that before. You just feel dumb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel more dumb because you guys are around me. If I was, like, by myself... Yeah, if you didn't say anything about it, it would have been, like, okay. Yeah. That's okay. So, yeah. I'm actually more embarrassed that I, like, asked her. I, I, I did not expect you to actually ask her. I probably would not have. The only reason why I am... I think it's good. Anything for the cat. Gives her like a conversation, you know. I mean, when you're a tall person, you know, you know people are just driving by. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny though. Uh, so yeah. Um, I was gonna say something earlier before we started talking about fucking wine stores, oh, liquor yeah. stores. Oh, I just called it a wine store. But uh, yeah. We're talking about. Like, oh, oh, I said, uh, oh, no, we're making, Chris was saying I was racist, because I was, like, saying that what if it's not good or whatever. Yeah. So we're just saying that's what the internet would do. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I remember what I was going to say. It's like, uh, I'm pretty excited for this movie, because I feel like I haven't seen a Marvel movie in a long time, even though Spider-Man came out in, like, July. Oh, yeah. But it's like, that movie disappointed me, so, because it was too, like, Nickelodeon, yeah. where this looks like an actual Marvel movie. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited. And, most of the time, what? You're, like, creaking your pops all in. Oh. Most of the time when, uh, people are, like, raving about a movie, I'm like, yeah, it's probably good. Yeah. But I'm not going into it. I guess I can be amazing. Right. Just because I learned from Wonder Woman not to do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> things would always be so much better than they might not have been. So, yeah, we're going to head into the movie theater right now. And we're going to come back uh, after and talk some more stuff. And farts and and <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's at least one fart noise in like every video. We we burp or fart in like every single one. Even like live streams included. So, yeah, we'll be back after word from Blue Apron. Use code Boop Reveal Mono Bliss and get eight percent off. One percent off your order. So you save a couple cents. No, negative one percent, so you go a little bit more. Yeah, negative one percent, so you give them extra cash. It's a good deal. Uh, anyway, bye. And we are back from the movie. The Black Panther. We're black from the movie? No, we're back. Wow. We're, no, we're back from Black Panther. Yeah. I think that's okay. a racial appropriation. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like going in the middle of the parking lot. Good, good. Let's run that over. What is it? Uh, the bottle. The bottle. Let's crunch it. Yay! Yay! <laughs>
Because people are like staring at me. I know. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm exploding everywhere. <laughs> So speaking of exploding everywhere. Yeah, Emma, before we get delve deep into the post-movie discussion. Before the movie, let's talk about the experience of watching the movie. Yeah, tell us about this fucking nasty fucking fat nerd sitting next to you. Don't talk about yourself like that. <laughs> Boom, gotcha. Uh, Holy burn. fucking shit. That was a bird. Oh my god, that was the meanest thing I've ever said. Yeah, that that was was pretty, that's literally the meanest thing I've ever said. Oh my god, I didn't mean it. No, oh, 100% accurate. We're talking about the no. actual, like, timid homeowner that was, like, sitting next to you. Yeah, so... Like, stereotype of all stereotypes. Yeah, so literally. So, this theater makes you get choose your seating before you go into the theater. And there was four seats all next to each other. And we chose the three at the end with one seat in between us and the other people, but someone must have, like booked it when we like left and went to Taco Bell for whatever reason. I'm going in the wrong lane. It's fine. Um, and so so someone ended up being in the spot next to us, like directly right next to us, and I was like, eh, I guess I'll take the seat because I don't want Sean out to sit next to some random strangers. So I was like, alright, I'll sit next to him. This guy was sick. Like coughing and sneezing. I know. <laughs> coughing and sneezing and like Hacking up loogies and, and like, like breathing super heavily. Like, yeah, like he was sick, and also he was fat, so he was like breathing extra hard, yeah. and also kept falling asleep. Like every like ten minutes of this two and a half hour movie, so every ten minutes, all of a sudden, right next to me, and then he would like choke and cough because he's sick, and like snot and like go like, <laughs> and then drink some of his drink, and then a few minutes later, fall back asleep. And was breathing heavy, heavy already anyway. So this guy was like coughing and sneezing and blowing his nose and like snoring and just being disgusting the entire time. I kept like getting up and like going to the bathroom. I could smell his swamp ass. And <laughs> yeah, there's been like 30 times throughout the movie where I would just look at Emma as he was making disgusting noises. Like, wow, are you fucking kidding me? And then idiot left before the fucking end credit scene. I know. Not a true fan. Yeah, this guy's no, disgusting. Well, he like sat there waiting for a few minutes. I think that he like. I thought he was with people, but I guess he was by himself. Cause the, yeah, apparently. Yeah, because that's what it was. Because there was four seats in a row, and then two people next to each other. So he must have booked the seat. Yeah. That's still weird. Right in the middle. To be I know. Like, to have like no social like awareness. To just be like, oh, I'll just take the seat that's like between these ones that are already booked. Because the one next to you, Emma, I don't think was booked when right. we booked them. No, which means like yeah. He picked like the one next to us, which is like which was next to those other people. Weird. That, yeah, that's what it was. Because there was four seats in a row and then two people. But so we took the three on the end, so there'd be one in between us. But he booked it. Which is weird. So, like in between, like. A group of people. Literally right in the middle also, of the Also, because there were, like, a lot of seats left. Like, it wasn't, like, there was, like, no yeah. space. Like, there yeah. were, like, plenty of spaces. Right. And that's... I was... First, I forgot about that while it was happening. And I was so surprised that he, like, wasn't talking to his friends. Or his friends weren't being like, hey, wake up. This guy was just, like, sleeping and, like, coughing and, like, laughing by himself. Like... I don't know. You'd come to the movie to sleep. Like, yes. He like came there legit <laughs> sleep because he was sleeping, just snoring. Then would like cough and like snot. Like, he was blowing like, his nose and his and his the collar of his shirt like multiple times. I was sitting there like rolling my eyes like. Um, and he makes so many weird noises, kind of like he was laughing, but he actually wasn't. Yeah, I know. No, he was. He laughed. He laughed a few times. But he laughed like a fucking weirdo, man. Yeah. yeah, it was weird. <laughs> he laughed a few times, but. <clears throat> would like also be choking on his like phlegm and like uh. have to like drink some of his drink and like cough and like like clear his throat and like hawk a loogie into his mouth to like clear his throat. Fucking gross. You got that one for that toll? We're hitting the toll. Hopefully I won't like talk to the person again. It'll be like the same woman. She'll be like, hey. <laughs> Ask her what she thought of Black Panther. <laughs> like, so, what do you think? <laughs> we'll actually talk about that after the toll. Yeah. No, 
all that Emma's disgusting fat nerd stories are. Yeah, and I already kind my throat was already kind of hurting, and now that guy just like made it psychosomatic and like make it hurt even more. So now I feel like I'm gonna get sick from my own thoughts. Like you have AIDS in your throat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I was gonna say, like, do you like Marvel movies and say the same thing to that guy? But that guy was literally the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Why? Do you not see him? No. He's sitting there, like. Yeah, looking at something. Yeah, just like staring, like, not acknowledging the car pulling up, holding a dollar bill out the window. <laughs> I know. He's like, I'm not. He's just weird. Okay, but yeah. So. Sean. What? Thoughts. Good. Chris. Good. Emma? Good. <laughs> okay, guys, bye. <laughs> that was it. I'll just leave them. <laughs> so, I don't even really know where to begin. Wait, I need, I need to begin with this. What? My high beams have been on this entire time. Oh, my God. <laughs> A normal person is like, I don't even know. <laughs> Damn, it is foul gay. Yeah. It's real quick, there's high beams on. Like, yeah, I know. Fog. Like, it works. That makes it better. No. Look at that. Look at how much you can see. You can see, but you're not supposed to. No, it doesn't make it, it like, illuminates I've, the fog, see? Uh, well, if it's only like, been the one time in history where I, I was driving in fog and I turned on my high beams and it made it worse. No, fog lights are low. That's why. So I know, I know. If it's like freezing like, fog, then like you're not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, see this? Like, oh, it's going ass. There's ghosts flying out, but now you can't even see it. Yeah, so but you stop like flashing your high beams. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're gonna get pulled over. We were <laughs> alerting us. <laughs> Yeah, done so, with the car thing. Go ahead. What was the thing you were saying? Oh, the high beam thing. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like know where to begin, really. So yeah, by the way, this is gonna be full on spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, get the fuck out. Spoiled right? brats. Yeah, spoiled brats. That's the new show called. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> All right. Anyways, Chris, what do you think? I thought it was good. Um, I mean, I guess if you want to start anywhere, yeah, give us. The uh, I feel like we can start with like some of the like cultural stuff. I really like how it wasn't like just like another superhero in New York, yeah, or California. It was nice to like explore like kind of like the whole like like you know. I mean, country that, like, it's set in and, like, trying to see some, like, different, uh, like, cultural stuff instead of just, like, the same old, like... True. Boring, like, a American hero, like, you know. True. I didn't really think about it, but I'm pretty sure it is, like, the first movie that takes place not in New York. Yeah. Like, the first Marvel movie. Or at least, like, significantly. Like, I mean, there's, like, been, like, the Avengers, you know, like, Russia or whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, this is, like... Like, you know, this, like, whole new, like, like, world, kind of. Yeah. It was, like, an ancient, hidden city. Yeah. It's fucking dope. I like how they did it, too. It felt like, I mean, I'm not, like, an expert on, like, African cultures, but I assume that they like, worked hard to make it seem like a city that, like, is kind of how it would have been built. I'm pretty sure Wakanda is, like... Based off an actual African place, the place with like a similar name. I can't really remember what it's called. I mean, there's Uganda. I, I guess that's what I was thinking of. The entire time, I was waiting for Chris to be like knuckles. He did say that. I knew he did. <laughs> I, I knew it. Joke. I knew it. <laughs> Which Uganda knuckles is offensive, but is Uganda knuckles offensive? <laughs> Find out next time. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't know which, like, which like, one it's actually based on. I mean, I'm I just, pretty like, sure that's it. I just haven't seen, like, maybe I'm just not cultured, but I just yeah. haven't seen, like, like African cities, like, like, I haven't seen, like, the New York of, like, you know, oh. Africa, basically. I don't really know. I guess we could, like, do research, but then, yeah. like, it's just, for whatever reason, like, I, I don't know enough to, like... This is cop lights. Be aware. It's definitely cop lights up ahead. I don't know which side they're oh, on. Maybe it's because it's so foggy. Um, they're like in the Holy middle. Holy shit. I can't even like see. I don't even know what the fuck they're doing. I know. I can't even tell what's going the on. Has a, they have their hazards on. Uh, yeah, oh, there's like someone in front of them. Go slow. Now you gotta pull someone over. 
There's so many car related things that I do that always have like someone being pulled over or police like doing something. It's kind of weird. Um. So yeah. But yeah, I feel like they did like a lot of work to like be like uh, appropriate in like everything and like kind of get like a feel of like how it would be. Yeah. You know, they're not just like throwing in some like, you know, Western bullshit to like, you know, kind of make it a thing. Right. It was like, I loved how the city itself was like a mixture between sci-fi and reality. Yeah. How it's, it's somewhat as if it was in the future, but it's just because they have like so much technology, but it's still like realistic. Yeah, it's not like out of the ordinary. It's just like, you know, yeah. give us a few more decades and see what happens. Right. I, I like the whole sci-fi elements throughout the whole movie, like how you were just saying, uh, near the end of the movie, there's a Star Wars-esque, um, but, like, the aircraft chase. Yeah. We want to call it. Dog fight, I guess you could call it. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. One plane fl- flying after other planes. Yeah, shooting lasers. And, uh, the, all the tech in the movie was awesome. It was really good. It was, like, it was unique, too. It did feel, like, kind of, like, the same old stuff. Yeah. Like, they did, like, a lot of, like, uh, like, the whole, like, sand effect. Like, that was, like, a big thing, which was pretty cool. Like, right. I don't know how to explain it. Things, like, came out of sand. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know what that actually was. Was it, was it sand? I mean, it was, like... What, the red sand when they were pouring? Well, it was the no. red sand, but then, like, all the technology, like, the hand, like, holograms were, like... It was like black sand. Yeah, like with the girl driving the car and the guy flying the ship. Yeah. Like, think of like all hologram stuff, but it's like black sand. Like, yeah, the stuff they use to control whatever they're doing. Yeah. And they had to like project in the beginning when they're gonna, when they're like assaulting the, the crew of people. They like yeah. had it to see where they are. Yeah. And his, his kinetic energy thing on his suit was dope. That was really cool. They used it a lot, which is kind of surprising. They did. It was in just like a one-off thing, which was nice. There's, yeah. there's some movies where it would have been like, oh, he doesn't really use it until the end, where it's like, no, he's just like, yeah, no, I'm going to just use this. Yeah, like all the fucking time. Like every fight scene he's in almost had... And speaking of that, the, the fight scenes thing. were great. They were like, actually like felt like new and different. Like I said, just like bad guys with guns and then like, you know... Or bad guys. Each special hero is, like, using, like, their own thing. Like, there's, like, the whole scenes where there's, like, you know, like, the tribes just, like, fighting each other with, like, you know, the spears and stuff. Yeah, the, um, I thought the beginning fight, the ritual, was awesome. Where he, they were, like, on the edge of the waterfall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. That was dope. And, uh, just the way they were fighting and everything was awesome. The car scene was really good. Probably, uh, yeah. probably the best Marvel car chase to date. Yeah, it was. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to even say, but. Say it. You know, I, I was gonna say that, that probably was my favorite scene, but I don't know. I, I'd say that it was definitely up there for me. It was. Yeah. Same. It was definitely. cool. It, like, they, I don't know, just like the different like tech they use. It, it, like, you know, it's new. It's not just like Captain America throws his shield, you know, and like something happens. Like, this lady, like, throws a spear, like, th- in front of a car, and it's, like, so hard that, like, the car explodes. Yeah, that was awesome. She threw it, like, through the windows, you mean? Oh, yeah. Was it through the window? Yeah. She, yeah, she like, threw it to the back, to the front, oh, yeah. and then hit the ground, and then crashed Through a car, through the, <laughs> yeah, through two windows, and then in front of it, and it, like, stopped the car. Yeah. That was awesome. Uh... So, Chris... Out of a hundred percent, what would you rate this movie? I don't know. I'm not like good at like rating things. I just liked it. <laughs> so okay. I don't know if I can just give it like a number rating. From, uh, from bad to okay to liked it to good to amazing, I would rate it. I would definitely rate it like probably like one of my favorite Marvel ones so far. I feel like. I thought... I felt like it was really unique, and that made it pretty fun. Yeah. What about you, Emma? So... This... Was... 
is probably my favorite Marvel movie, but... I think you say that after every time you watch I know, and I was going to say, I like, whenever I see the newest one, I'm always like, this is like probably my favorite, but I was sitting there comparing it to Wonder Woman. Same. And <laughs> I think that I like this more than Wonder Woman. Uh, the only one that I feel like, I don't know if I... I really like Guardians of the Galaxy, the second one. I mean, I really like the yeah. first one too, but I really liked the second one. It's like a tie with that one right now, and that one's like my favorite, so this one is, I don't know. I mean, for like the single character, instead of it like, because Guardians of the Galaxy is like that whole group of them. I mean, right. there's like a group, group of people in this one, but yeah, like, my not... favorite single one, I right. think that I like this more than Wonder Woman. I thought I liked it probably just the same as Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. I thought Wonder Woman was amazing. Yeah, Wonder Woman was amazing. I, I might have liked this one a little less. Uh -huh. For I don't really know why. But I guess it just could be because, like I said earlier, I had no expectations going to Wonder Woman for this one. I heard, I didn't hear any reviews or anything for Wonder Woman, but for this I was like, everyone was saying it was amazing. So I was like, it's going to be really good. With Wonder Woman 2, it was like, oh, well, every other DC one has been trash. Yeah. So this one probably will be too. With Black Panther, it's like, every critic's giving it like a 100. So, I mean, he knew it was going to be good, but he wasn't like, I guess, uh, changing expectations like too much. Yeah. I just can't recall a single thing that I didn't like about it. Not a single thing I didn't like about it. Yeah, I agree. I read... Um, there was one review I watched where they said the CG was, like, kind of goofy looking. I didn't really think that. I mean, I thought Black Panther himself reminded me, it reminded me of Spider-Man in the first movies. Sometimes, the way he, like, moved when he was CG. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, but, I, like, that, it wasn't even that, like, I know what you're saying because I agree. Like, you can just, like, tell. It's just, yeah. like, a little, like, I don't know. I didn't really have a problem with it. Yeah, me either. I just, I, even that, I still can't find a single thing I don't like about it. I feel like I need to wait and see, like, other people's opinion, like, um, cinema sins or whatever, and see, like, things that maybe I missed. Yeah. Because, like, I cannot think of a single thing that I didn't like about it, or, like, with, with, each, with each Marvel movie, I'm like, man, eh, I didn't really like that. Like, with Spider-Man, I just th didn't think that there was enough, like, action. Was, or, like, yeah, there, was was no, there, like, there was no, like, big, big fight. Like, there was no big, big thing. There's no big fight or plot development or really, well, no big anything. Right. It was just a fun movie. That's all Spider-Man was. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so it's like, with each Marvel movie, I can pick out at, at least a couple things that I don't like, but with this one, nothing. Um, I liked, I thought they had the best, like, supporting characters out of any Marvel movie. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Every character was dope, even the villains and the, yeah. the anti-hero people and whatnot. Yeah, no one felt, like, useless. It was always kind of just, like, like, everyone could kind of, like, do their own thing. Like, right. They didn't really, like... Hold their own ground. Yeah. yeah, and they're all like they're just really good actors, and no one, yeah, like you said, no one was useless. They all had like some sort of point to being there, um, and they all they all like worked together really well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and a lot, a lot of the choreography was just like for everything was like really good though. Yeah. Just like everyone, like because there were like a lot of like intense like fighting things like between like the tribe one at the end and like the one yeah. like the like uh like gambling and stuff like there was just a lot of that happening which was pretty fun i liked the the, the little war at the end when they're all fighting in the field yeah. uh i don't know why but i just love when movies have nameless grunts versus other nameless grunts just going at it like a million of them at once like i love when movies do that for some reason i mean it's really good i don't know i feel like a part of that's just because like i don't know it's like it seems like they're just, they're nameless but it's also like the amount of work that it took to like do that scene i'm sure it's just like yeah. just months to train everyone like yeah. that was definitely like the hardest scene I 
wasn't any like bad acting. For sure, it was all yeah. pretty solid too. Everyone was like, everyone was good. I don't think yeah. I really had an issue with like anyone. Uh, Black Panther himself was dope. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I don't know if his accent is real or not, but I know. if it is, it's amazing. I know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Because he put, sometimes he would put like funny little accents on certain words where I'm like, that's gotta be real. But if it's not real, then I mean, good actors can do like, you know, yeah, good things. Uh, am I going right. to the right? Uh, yeah, right, right. Uh, I can't see your hand, Sean, sorry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Just like, like pointing or like what? I loved uh, the villain. Me too. He's hot as hell, too. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, he's fucking dope. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Michael Jordan, he was he he was in the uh, that awful uh, Fantastic Four movie. You may remember. Oh, he, he was that guy. Torch. That is Michael B. Jordan. Yes. I did not know. That. Uh, I'm not sure what else he's been in, just because I don't like keep up with like actors and stuff. Yeah. Once I saw the name, I was like, oh hey, that guy. <laughs> I swear it was Nick Cannon the whole time. <laughs> Tell me it was not Nick Cannon. I was like, I kept, like, I kept saying it to Sean, and Sean just kept laughing. I'm like, it's fucking Nick Cannon. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, 100%. <laughs> Maybe, like, like yeah. a bit of a similarity, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, that's another thing. Everyone's pretty hot in this movie. Yeah. I'll be honest. Like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not saying, like... Like, with some other movies, it's kind of like, you know, there's people here and there, but there's, like, a lot of attractive people yeah. in this movie, like, compared to, like, other movies where it's, like, you know... Yeah. Like, there's, like, the one or two that are, like, really hot. I guess there's also a lot of characters in this movie, too. Like, there's, like, a lot of people, kind of. I guess I'm, like, trying to think of, like, the other movies, but... I feel like right. everyone was, like, super attractive in, like, not a typical way. Like, it wasn't, like, a... It wasn't typical, if that makes any sense. It was, like, like the, the girl with the bald head. Like, that's not, like, typical. Right. She was, like, hot. And oh, she was, yeah. like, a beast, so it was, like, hot. That, too. Yeah, it's, I love how almost every single person in the movie is black. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like that, that was that was real nice, especially with all the Marvel movies. Like I said, going back to, like, the culture stuff, it really adds, like, a new, uh, a new perspective on things, you know? It's gotta be the most... There's no... There's no way it's not the most predominantly black, like, action movie. Oh, yeah. Especially... Oh, definitely. Especially... Yeah. There's, At least there's the first. Time. Yeah, there's only, like, two, maybe three white people the entire movie. Yeah. And there's, like, a ton of black people, because, I mean, it's said in Wakanda, but... Yeah. But even then, there's, like, the Korean people. Yeah. Yeah. And they weren't white. <laughs> it was, like, a... It was Claw, his minions, and then, like, the CIA dude. Right. And then, like, yeah, that, that was it, right? Yeah. That's literally it. Oh, besides, like, the random, like, people in the, um, the art gallery. And, oh, yeah. And, like, yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, like, yeah. yeah, you know. Like, actual characters. Right. It was cool. It was very needed. And, uh, they couldn't have, like, read the way they represented it. African culture and black people in general just kind of been done any better. And that w- makes me wonder who worked on the movie, like the, who the director was or whatever, and if they were like purposely trying to make it, uh, if they were like trying to make it predominantly black for like source material's sake or if they're doing it to actually represent black people for once in a Marvel movie or a movie in general. I'm sure it's both. I'm sure there's some both there. I mean, I don't know the comic enough to, like, know Black Panther, but I mean... Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, it was awesome. So it's also set... It's set during... Well, uh... Which Captain America movie is it? Because it's the explosion that, like, happens, like, in the beginning of the other one, right? Yeah. I don't know. It's, like, happening at, like, the same time as, like, that other Captain America movie, whichever one that was. I, I don't know if it's after. It's gotta be after. Well, because the explosion, remember, that explosion happens, in the, it's, like, the beginning of, like... Yeah, the Civil War. other one, and I don't think that's... Oh, was it Civil War? Yeah, I can't yeah. remember. Civil War, but I don't think there was, like, a... It wasn't, like, you know... It was, like, a, I don't think there was, like, a skip in, like, time in Civil War. I think it was, like, kind of, like, right after. 
Yeah, they kind of didn't really say that, like, exactly, for some reason. They just showed, like, the one scene where, like, uh, uh, Black Panther, like, saved his dad in that explosion. Yeah. So it was like, oh, okay, this is happening while the other thing's happening. Right. So. Makes sense. Yeah. What, what did you guys think of the story? I thought it was good. Yeah, I didn't think it was anything, like, crazy. It was, like, crazy, but... I like the whole... I was expecting there to be, like, a, a, a big... I feel like... It, like, a big thing, but it really wasn't, like, a big thing. It was just, like... I don't know, well, you know the, what I mean? Like, the solo movies are more supposed to be, like, side stories. Yeah. Like, their own little adventure. Uh-huh. I'm sure if it was, like... Guardians of the Galaxy had a huge thing. Right. Like ridiculously huge. But it's like, also like galactic in, scale. Yeah. Space. Like, yeah, I mean, it's in space. Like. Yeah, but it also had like a lot to do with the rest of the Marvel Universe, where this movie didn't really have much to do with the rest of it, if anything at all. Yeah. It's, so it's just kind of like yeah, its but, own yeah. separate adventure. Yeah, it was like, not, that's what I was saying. It wasn't like this big thing where like everyone else needed to be involved or like be worked into it. It was like the, their own issues. Yeah, I like that though. Yeah, me too. I actually, I like, like, really like that. Right. They didn't show any car- other Super Marvel superhero characters. Not even like in a video or yeah, something. Yeah, guy at the end. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, technically. But then the actual movie. Like the, oh yeah, because that was like the after credits. Yeah. Like the actual movie didn't show anyone. Um... Did they even reference anyone else or anything? No. I mean, Besides the explosion? I don't think so. No, no, there was no, there wasn't references to anyone, or like anything happening. It was like strictly what was just happening in Uganda, like Wakanda. Like, Uganda? Wakanda? Wakanda. Wakanda? Yeah. Uganda's the real place. No. Uganda. I don't know. Wakanda. I was adding I was saying <laughs> you instead of like no. I don't know. I didn't try to add that why. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> but their fault for just making up countries. Sure. Is it made up? Yeah, yeah, it's just a made up country. Positive. Yeah. yeah. I just don't. I don't know. It's like, also a fiction. It's like a, in the. It's like a mystical place that no one even knows exists. Oh, true. Sure, that's right. Yeah, it's like hidden or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The the villain was dope. His motive was kind of. Cliche, like you killed my dad, so I'll kill you, thing, and take your. Well, it's like it was like different because it wasn't just that he wanted to like, because his dad got killed and he was abandoned, and he wanted to help other people like him or whatever. Yeah, so oh, yeah. He had that bigger. It wasn't just that. It had the bigger. Right. It was like, uh, what kind of didn't isn't using their tech to help anyone else, which I didn't really explain why, I don't think. I think it's because they just didn't want... It's because... I think they actually said something that was, like, um... I forget what they said, but something about, like, it would create, like, battles or something. I think it said something like it get into into the wrong hands, or... I forget exactly what it was. Something something along those lines. It's it's like any other, like, weapon thing. Like, oh, you know, everyone else finds out we can, like, make, like... Weapons of mass destruction, and then, you know. I was like, wait again. Yeah, they were just like trying to protect them. But I, I thought it was interesting how like it became like the whole thing of like, uh, like kind of like part of like the whole like race in America thing, also. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like these like people are suffering in this country, like from like you know, police violence and like all that stuff, and like you know, the people essentially from like their ancestral home home who can like do anything and fix like broken spines aren't like helping out at all right and then at the end they said yeah we'll help people with it to vibranium which apparently literally can do anything it wants yeah basically like, they never said that in any other movie because Captain America's shield has been around since 2008 or whatever whenever that movie came out they never and that's what it's made out of yeah and they never once said it could be anything else other than metal. But has, have they ever been able to, like, experiment with it beyond, like, small fragments? No. Because, like, in Metal, there's, like, the, like, 
It's just everywhere. Like, they've been able to use it for, like, thousands of years. Yeah, and it can shoot lasers and make weapons and, uh, make force field shields, which I don't... I don't really understand how that works. Like, every other movie, they just show it as being, like, a metal. It's just strong. Like, every other movie, it's just, like, it's the strongest. Yeah. Not like, oh, yeah, it can also, like, you know... Fix the world's problems, basically. Right. Yeah, they don't really understand anything about it. They didn't say how they project lasers with the vibranium or anything. Like, they're just kind of. It's kind of weird how they would use vibranium in other movies for like 10 years, but never once. But they don't even bother trying to explain how it's different in this movie. It just is. And I'm sure it'll never come up again. Probably not. <laughs> What did you guys think of the ending? I thought it, I mean, it came full circle. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. I liked it. Like the whole movie. Like yeah. The single thing I didn't like about it. Right. Well, who was your favorite character? Uh, in what they do or just how attractive they are? I know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, have all these different things because I actually really like the villain. Yeah, he was dope. Hot. Um, I really like the the bald girl. I thought she was awesome. She was dope. She was just like a dope badass. Like, yeah. They, like they like you get in like movies every once in a while when she was just fucking wreck shit. Yeah. And, like it was just sweet. Yeah, she was awesome. I really liked the, the younger sister. Yeah. The younger sister was she, cool. Yeah, she was awesome. Like that, her driving that the car that was like the best fucking thing. That ever. was awesome. That, that was whole, so fucking awesome. That whole scene was awesome. Yeah, that, I think that might be my favorite scene actually. Everything they did in Korea was <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah so even awesome. Even when they're like undercover. Yeah. And uh, the whole fight scene in the club place that we were there yeah. in. They did a sweet fight scene and then like a dope ass like uh, car chase. So it was like. Yeah. You're just, like, pumped up for, like, a good, like, half an hour, basically. Yeah. yeah. Korea was good. Yeah. <laughs> I know everyone that's looking at this is probably getting, like, mad because we're, like, giving very, like, fake things. Like, oh, yeah, the car chase. Like, yeah, the car chase. That's, like, it. You can't explain it. It's just, like... Uh, I like the one the car blew up and she was still in her, the seat. Oh, yeah. They, and, like, oh, yeah. had that. It's, <laughs> like, it's pretty funny. Yeah. I was like, how does that even happen? It was super comical. That's, like, the most, like, comical thing. It's, like, like, like that's what you see in, like, a cartoon when, like, yeah. the car explodes and they're just, like, in the seat with the steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I thought it was pretty funny. But the other chick is, like, gliding down on the hood with, yeah. like, her spear in it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was, that was the only part of the movie that was really, like, unrealistic as hell. Yeah. Yeah, like, how it was, like, not in a bad way, though. Like, it was, like, so yeah. like, again. It was pretty cartoony, but it was still really awesome. Uh, did you guys think he actually died when he got thrown off the waterfall? I mean, uh, like, no. No, because they would never do that. That's like, right. never happens in, like, any movie. You know he's, like, gonna come back. Yeah, and he was also in the trailer for the next Avengers movie. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah. Obviously. But, I mean, you, know, you always know. I mean, yeah. You know. Yeah. I, like, I didn't think that he died. And then, I, like was thinking, well, maybe he actually died, but there's some way he didn't, like, he can be revived or whatever, so, like, uh, Yeah, I thought he was gonna be revived by Wakandan tech or something. Yeah. But, no, it was, like, primitive. Uh, he had a coma, and he got washed up, and he kept him in snow. But it, the, the snow seemed magical. I think there was, like, some magic snow there. Magic snow? I don't know, that's what it felt like. It felt like magic snow. Also, the, like, throne room for that guy, like, one of the other, like, uh, tribes, pretty yeah. great. I like the, the hanging branches. The logs or whatever, I yeah. Would, I would definitely hang some, like, giant burst logs yeah. in my house. I might start, like, doing that. That, that was, that was some nice. I don't even, like, yeah, know yeah. what you're talking about. It's, 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 like, I love that you noticed it, too, because I was sitting there thinking, like, that is the coolest room His ever. room, his big, like, open throne. You see, like, the things, like, hanging. No. You didn't pay attention? It was literally, no, like, these, that. like, birch, lo like, yeah. There's logs that were, like, being held up by these, like... Huh. So, like, think of, like, the signs that we have in our store, like, hanging by, like, the, like, metal strings in the front of the store. But instead of signs, picture, uh, big birch logs. 
like a bunch of them. Interesting. <laughs> it, was so, it was so yeah, awesome. Did you notice? Oh, how do you know? Was, I know. It was great. It's like, I want to run like that. I That's know. Nice. Well, I was too busy looking at the people, I guess. I don't know. All the architecture was really good. Yeah. Then it goes back to like the cultural stuff I was saying in the beginning. It's like it all looks really nice. Like it's it's all different. Yeah. Especially that sweet like tech room that like the sister has. Yeah, the aesthetic was really good. It, it was really uh It was it was done very well in a way that made you feel like this was it could be possible. Yeah. And it was somewhat immersive in a way. Yeah. It just felt it was, it was all genuine. Yeah. I don't know. I just like different, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's nice, like, you know, seeing other things. I like to see, like, more of that. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like cheap African references or anything. It was all, it seemed like. Yeah, it's like, oh, it seems, like culturally, like, appropriate. Like, yeah. they put, like, their time into, like, you yeah. know looking at this stuff to like figure it out. Yeah, it was making it feel unique too. Yeah. And I will say this. It was nice to have a Marvel movie that wasn't fucking funny. That for too. once yeah. in the last like three years. True. Because yeah. there was Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. Spider-Man, and Thor for whatever reason apparently was a funny movie. Yeah, I still haven't seen that yet. Yeah, this one, like, there were, like, funny parts, but it wasn't, like, you're, like, everyone in the theater is, like, laughing. It's, like, Yeah, it wasn't like those other movies where it was, like, actually a It's just, like, regular, like, everyday, like, genuine, like, like, stuff. Like, when the sister, like, flips him off. Yeah, exactly. That's just, like, what would happen. It's not, like, she's throwing around jokes, you know? Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, like, oh, am I the one? No, you're fine. Okay, I was confused. It's weird. Yeah, that was confusing. Um, But, yeah, it, a lot of, like, the funny things were, like, the s- sister and him hit there. Yeah. Like, it was, like, sibling. Yeah, it was comic relief. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I've been, I've been so sick of funny Marvel movies yeah. and the way that people are sick of overly dark and gritty DC movies. Yeah. So it was nice to have a Marvel movie that's normal. Again, I don't even... What was the last one? Like, Civil War? That was two Civil, years ago. Yeah, I guess, yeah, Civil War was, like, pretty... It, just, it was just genuine. That's what it was. It was just, like, you know... Yeah. I never saw Doctor Strange. I didn't see that either. I'm sure it's, like, the same tone. Because... I highly doubt they can make that a comedy. But, yeah, it's the last two were comedy movies. Like, the last three were comedy movies. Because yeah. Spider-Man and Guardians of the Galaxy happened, came out, like, almost the same time. And then Thor was in November. So what are these last three <laughs> movies or comedies? Yeah. It's kind of annoying. I don't really remember what came out this time last year. Uh-huh. When did Deadpool come out? Deadpool Two came years out ago. In, yeah, in oh, February, okay. though. Yeah, so... It was almost, around this time, but not like a while ago. Yeah. Two years ago. Logan was last year, but it's not a Marvel movie. Nah, not really. It's not, it's not in the universe. So I guess you, you might be able to count that. Yeah, I'm talking like superhero, though, like the like. Yeah, I'm talking like stuff. ones in the Marvel universe. Yeah, Captain America. Yeah, Thor, all that stuff. Right. Even Civil War was even like half comedy. It wasn't as much as Age of Ultron, but Age of Ultron sucked for that reason. And yeah. Anyways, I was just I was just saying it's a lot better how. They didn't make it a comedy for once. But I'm sure they were also like trying to avoid that because it's like it's not like oh yeah this is like the third Black Panther movie. It's like this is the first one. We kind of like need to like true you know to get it right right because also we're trying to like you know properly represent people you know like it, it helps a lot when you do that kind of stuff and like yeah it was a lot of the things this movie did to represent. Um, what it did is kind of similar to what Wonder Woman did with like trying to equally represent women and whatnot. That's why like I, I was kind of comparing it in my head in that way. Oh yeah, in terms of like yeah representation and how that works. Yeah, I feel like this did a good job. I mean, you have a lot of yeah. like just like like good like strong people like doing their own thing. All of them were like relatively independent, like. Yeah, they weren't cliched. Yeah, it wasn't just like, oh, they yeah, this, you know, typical person. It was like, you know, they they worked, they like, you know, did what they had to, and it's like. 
Yeah. I feel like it paid off, kind of like how Wonder Woman did. Like, yeah, she went her own thing. Yeah. And, um... Fuck, what was I gonna say? Fuck. Bump. Oof. Uh... Oh, yeah, it was like... They actually put effort into it. It wasn't just a cheap thing. Like, some white guy didn't make this movie just to put out... Be like, say, like, oh, we have black people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It wasn't like that. And that's how Wonder Woman was. It wasn't, like, just... See, women can be strong, too. Like, so shut up. It wasn't like that. Yeah, they, like, they, they put effort, like, make sure it's good, make sure it, like, helps the story, but also is, like, a good representation of, like, you know, what people, like, want and need yeah. for, like, also to do. Right. So, yeah, it's about time we wrap this up. We talked the whole ride home, surprisingly. And, uh, we're dropping Chris off right now at his home. <laughs> Yeah, podcast on the go. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. The new Monolith Go podcast. It's a little bit shorter for, you know, your drive home. So. Right. <laughs> well, Chris, thanks for doing this with us. Welcome. It was a good time. Yeah. Good movie. Mm-hmm. All right. Chris, say goodbye. Bye, people. I'm going to say goodbye. Bye, Chris. Bye, people. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone.